Andrew the pictures for this book. There's a shark in the bath. So today I thought I would teach you how to draw a shark in the bath. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is a long line somewhere near the bottom of the page. This is the top of the bathtub. And then we're going to do a second line following that first line. Okay, and cap each one off with a kind of rounded thing. So it looks like a worm, a very long straight worm. Okay, now it a line that slants down a bit like that. And another line that's not quite so slanty. And then cap off the bottom of your bath. Okay, it might have little feet on it. Some baths have feet on them, not all of them. But if you like, you can put feet on it. Okay, okay now we're going to add some taps. So there's the hot and cold. There's maybe the hot. And then a curved line that comes around like that another like that. Cap those off and the other tap and that's your basic bath. Now's the fun bit, we get to draw the shark. So I'm do a really big curved line. It comes up like that. There we go. And then a straight line and then you're gonna do a big silly mouth. that. And then once you've done the mouth, come down. Okay, now we're going to do a fin. Fin right off the back there. Two lines to make the fin. Okay, now we're going to do his eyes or her eyes. So it's one circle. And then make the other circle even bigger just to make it look a bit more silly. And once you've done that, we can do two little dots. I'm going to use a different pen. Two dots for pupils in the middle. Mine's cross-eyed. And you can color them in nice and dark. There we go. And of course, some nostrils. Let your, let your shark breathe. There we go. Okay, now we're going to give them some flippers. So we're going to have a flipper coming off here like that. And another one like that. And what's he missing? He's very gummy. Let's give him some teeth. This is the fun bit. Big, sharp teeth, as many as you can fit in. And on the other side. There we go. Okay, but let's put a tongue behind it. And when it hits the teeth, you might stop. Just so it looks like it's behind the teeth. And then we'll do a line coming up like that darken in the back. This way looks like he's got more going on in there. It's a really deep throat there. Okay. Yay. Now we're going to draw his tail. So have a line coming up like that. Another one like that. A curved line. Another curved line. And then kind of connect him with like a smile line. There we go. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to, we can make this shark look quite silly. That could be fun. In the book, I have, he's got a mustache. So maybe he's, you could put glasses on him or a mustache, whatever you like. Maybe a silly wig, maybe glasses, whatever. Uh, he could have um, getting his teeth fixed. Who's ever seen a shark with braces? Well, now you have. You could put a tutu on him, overalls. Um, a dress, a big suit with a bow tie, whatever you like. Let's see, let's make his teeth a bit, give him a bit more texture here. So we're going to have him, because maybe he doesn't brush very well. Give some texture there. You might have some lines coming down as well. Really, really, he's got to, some dental issues going on. Dirty teeth. And you can put some dots on the tongue too. Now let's decorate his body. Let's give him some texture. He might have little dots. You might do kind of scribbly lines, just so he sort of stands off the page a bit more. Okay, 
This is always nice. When you do a big shape, if you put other little sort of texture lines in it, it makes it look kind of a nicer picture. Get more. You think, oh yeah, that's that's something on that page. It's not just lines. Solid object, solid creature. There you go. Okay, maybe on the tail too. And you can just be dotting dots or stripes. You can maybe be sort of shark striped or like tiger striped or something. There we go. Okay, and of course, he's very, he's in the tub. He's really enjoying the bubbles. So let's add some bubbles to his bath. You can add his, you could spend ages drawing all these bubbles and some bubbles will go behind the other bubbles like that. Might even have three bubbles or more. There you go. So I'm coming up here. He loves his bubble bath. And of course he's splashing too. So maybe do some splashy lines. And maybe he's splashing in the tub too. You can see the tub is leaking because he's throwing so much water over the edge. And there might even be a big puddle underneath. There you go, there's a big puddle. Maybe another puddle there. Uh, what else? You might have other things in the tub. There might be, you might be in the tub. You might have sort of an octopus or something. There we go, here's a little octopus. Tentacles just sticking up. You could put a little octopus face if you want. Uh, what else could you have? You could have a crab. Maybe there's a crab here. Standing on his leg, there's a crab. Uh, you don't have to draw these, but you can if you like. There's a crab eyes. Maybe a big smile. He's got his little pinchers in the air. He wants to pinch a bubble. That's what he wants to do. And some feet. There we go. Maybe you should give him a bubble. It's really close to being popped here. Maybe it's one he's just popped. Here's a popped bubble. There we go. And you can spend, you could, you could put clothing on him, anything you like. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to sign your name. I'm putting Sarah McIntyre, but of course you put your name. And that's one way to draw a shark in a bath. Now, I thought I could sing the shark in the bath song. And if you like, you can sing along with me. I was having a soak in a nice tub of bubbles when I got a big surprise. He had a dirty grin, a triangular fin, and a pair of beady eyes. He looked like he was pleased to meet me. I said, you're a shark. Novelty soap dish. What? I wasn't falling for that. Help, help, there's a shark in the bath. Help, help, there's a shark in the bath. There's a shark in the bath. And he's having a laugh. Help, help, help. He was circling around the bubbles. I said, clear up, shark. I've got enough troubles. The shark still wanted to try his luck. He said, I'm not a shark. I'm a rubber duck. What? He wasn't even yellow. drawing with Sarah. You can find lots more fun drawing activities on my website jabberworks.co.uk and you can follow me on social media. See you next time!